Hi, uh, and welcome to uh, Drawing Cartoons and Photographs, part two from the Money Tree. And this is Lulu. And this was sent in by Sandy Rodriguez, no, yes, yeah, Sandy Rodriguez in Colombia. And, and I never imagined how complicated this whole project would be. I've got hundreds of emails coming in, <laughs> all sorts of different photographs, and just kind of organising this is really difficult. Anyway, this is Lulu her dog who wanted she wanted to be a princess and um and then this is a oh i put a fifty thousand pesos but she actually says make either note of 50 pesos or yes it's very difficult anyway lulu can unscrew plastic water bottles after she fetches them she likes unscrewing the caps more than chasing them she seems to enjoy listening to music because when it's on my laptop speaker she always tries to lie next to it and it's not because of the heat my laptop produces in my city Cartagena it is always summer a tropical city well I hadn't imagined I'd be uh, drawing pets and animals but uh, that's been great fun and I really hope you like that I think it's come out quite well I'm quite pleased with that um, and I thought I'd go with kind of pinks and greys for a princess <laughs> OK, this next drawing is of Lorraine, who says she was born in Wales, yet grew up in southern Africa. And later in life, she started to get interested in computer graphics as well as 3D graphics. This interest led me to pick up her pencil again, try hand at drawing. And uh, she found my channel, kind of begin to tell you how much fun I've had drawing penguins and poodles, as well as learning to be confident using paints to come up with my very own watercolours. That's great. And uh, she says that she has a very own medieval dress. So she thinks a princess is the best option for her. So I thought I would make her a medieval princess. And I have to say, uh, actually doing, <laughs> doing the voiceover even for this is quite tricky. Because um, I'm kind of watching and I'm reading and trying to think what to say. <laughs> so what am I doing? So I've penciled and... I've drawn and then you might have seen the kind of a, a my hairdryer there which is to uh, make sure that, it, that, that, that the ink is completely dry before this is really hard to talk and look and do it <laughs> I make sure it's really really dry before I erase the pencil lines out or otherwise the ink might smudge and uh, there we go Lorraine I hope you like that who have we got next um, this is Marek, or Mark, who comes from Slovakia. And I was trying to think what to draw him as. So, um, wait a minute. <laughs> so many bits of paper all over the place. So, uh, Mark comes from Slovakia, and so I went and had a look. And in um, the capital, Bratislava, I think, uh, there is a king in the square called Svatopluk. And so I thought I would, oh, there's my head getting in the way of the drawing. Oh dear, oh dear. It's because, oh, I hope you can see that. Huh? <laughs> so I've drawn him as King Svatoplak, which he may, of course, not support. Uh, but anyway, I hope you don't mind, Mark. And what have we got? You want to be a thousand euros, that's right. And so, this has actually been a very complicated project and, and I'm only about halfway through on this video um, as I've had to sort of collect all the details up of everybody and print things out and work out what everybody wants. <laughs> and then some people say, oh, that's OK, I'll leave it to you, of course, which is actually harder because then I have to use my imagination and think of something. And uh, But anyway, there we go. I hope you like that, Mark. OK, next we have Mr. TJ, uh, who comes from the Netherlands, Holland. I was there recently in Amsterdam and uh, she wants to be a princess, of course. Uh, what did, have we got? What have we got? Details, details. She likes to be a fairy princess on a million rupee bill, <laughs> if at all possible. And uh, as a fabulous drawings you've included as well. Beautiful pansy. I recognise that one from my shows. Um, what are we doing here? So I'm kind of drawing her as a fairy princess. And this is quite quite a difficult thing to do because I've got lots of different faces and I'm, and I'm kind of trying to make them different. But I'm trying to make them look like who they are. <laughs> and uh, 
sort of add all sorts of extra different little things on. So that was the um, hair dryer there, drying it to make sure it was all dry before I raised the pencil lines. And now I'm putting in um, the watercolour. So I'm using here um, a kind of yellow ochre as the base. Oh, my hair's coming in the way again, leaning over the camera. Um, and 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 it's for each kind of drawing. Uh, I'm trying to think of different colour thing as well. So now here we got. <laughs> now we are into Big Zago. He's a big fan. <laughs> Had to be a proud emperor and worth a hundred bunny footprints and exactly Taoistan dollars, euros, etc. Uh, so there we go. He can watch painting for hours at museums or art websites. Love your show and started after a long period again with painting. That's great. Well done. So he's actually his name is Raphael. And uh, so there is no place called Dawistan, but oh, so we've created this place called Dawistan and I've made him like a Roman emperor. And so there's Dawistan dollars. Emperor Big Zago. Maybe you'd have preferred, now you see there's so much going on in all the details. Maybe you'd have preferred Raphael, but anyway, uh, here we go. So again, I've dried it with the hairdryer and now I'm using Naples yellow there. And then this is dropping in vermilion on the top here to give the shading and and I've chosen purple for big and emperor and little green um, what are those things called little olive leaf thing you know that <laughs> and, and I was using my hair dryer again there just to kind of dry because you know sometimes you don't want to be painting wet on wet you want to have the paint dry so that you can paint on top with watercolor now here we have uh, T. Ezra Tammy, who is also from the Netherlands, I think. I hope I've got that right. And she says, always been interested in art. Recently watched an online course in line drawing, which taught very simplistic childlike technique. Got me thinking maybe art should be more fun than I've been making it. Searching out other artists on YouTube, I found my videos. Realised my videos are probably meant for a young audience, but I really like that in a few minutes I could have a cute little puppy on my page, while in the past it would take me hours to get one ear perfect. That's why I started watching. Well, I think that's um, exactly the whole point, I think. Um, you know, you, you can... I think the thing is, you know, when you're drawing, you, you're not a photographer. So, you know, if you want to take perfect, perfect pictures, then get a camera. If you want to be a, if you want to draw, then you just draw and it doesn't have to look like a photograph. Uh, it can <laughs> look very, very different. Now, tell me here, I'm trying to make quite pale and ethereal here. So I've turned her into a kind of a, a queen here. Oh, another email. There we go. And, um, so I think that's kind of working. And again, it's just choosing different colors to make all these different notes look different. Ah, now here is Derek Morrow. And the next one is going to be Dan Morrow. So I can talk about them both. Now, I haven't actually met them, but I feel I know them well. They contacted me, oh, I don't know what, a year and a half, two years ago, asked me if I would do a voiceover for them. So um, go and have a look. Look, I'm going to put a link to their channel. Go and have a look at the animation that I did for them and uh, it was a little film called and I didn't do the animation they did the animation I did the voiceover and it's a little film called Comet and if you haven't seen it go and see it and give it lots of love and say you like it and f subscribe to them do all that kind of thing <laughs> they put an awful lot of work into it and uh, and they've asked me maybe if I might do another one which I'm sure I probably would be very happy to do and uh, so uh, they're kind of big supporters of my channel and I hope I'm a supporter of their channel and <laughs> what they're trying to do. Really. And uh, so I wasn't quite sure what to make Derek. So I made him a kind of an archduke. Um, and I slightly changed the angle from the photograph that he's given me. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to look like him, but I hope it is. I think that kind of curl on his fringe is kind of a secret there. And then his sort of beard around the edge too. Oh. And why has the camera stopped? Ah, here we are, and here we have Dan Morrow. So they're twins. And um, I made Dan a kind of a king. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure who's the boss, but they seem to work together very, very closely. So I made him a, a kind of a, an old fashioned king. And um, 
and I think they're very, very keen on becoming kind of anim animation superstars, and they're very much into doing their own thing. And I think you know they're kind of they're the kind of people who are just going to keep going on and on and on until they get there, and no one's going to stop them. And if I can help them a little bit with doing some voiceovers, then I'm very pleased to. Now. Now, I think I got a phone call in the middle of this, so so there we are, right. So we have $203. Now, why would that be? I don't know. <laughs> I think I chose that, did I? Because I thought it was a ridiculous amount. And I'm calling him Dollar Dan. And again, I'm using, on the faces here, I'm using... Um, Naples yellow to start off with and then vermilion on the top and and again just trying to choose different colors that so that you know they don't all mush together what else can i tell you um i had an interesting conversation uh, with iDriver who said why aren't i doing this for charity well the whole point of doing this was um <laughs> to prove that you can make money out of <laughs> make money out of art and the whole point of it was to say to show you know the artists shouldn't work for charity you know sh you know you should get paid if you're a professional you should get paid for what you do anyway who have we got here this is um blah blah blah, 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 blah. josiah sorry and his mum rebecca uh, asked me to draw this for him. So here's a picture of Joe's eyes. I'm so excited. This is a surprise for him. He will be thrilled. <laughs> I hope you are. She says, make him a czar. And the note will be a million dollars. And uh, so I've been looking up various pictures of czars and they have this kind of crown and, and, and an ermine sort of stole over the top. And uh, and again, there we are. Hair dryer. <laughs> and have... It's kind of the same thing, I suppose. It's just years of practice of sort of doing faces. And now, I was going to say, uh, do you think they call him Joe at school? But uh, no, they don't, because uh, Rebecca tells me Josiah is 13. He's homeschooled and he loves learning to draw using my videos. Lives in New York, loves Doctor Who. His favourite Doctor Who is the fourth Doctor and wants to grow up to be a science teacher. That's great. I hope you like this, Josiah. And uh, I get quite a lot of uh, homeschoolers using my videos. Let me know if you're one of them. And finally, now we have Marty Daly from Australia, the land down under. Uh, he says, where us British sent all our naughty people on boats 200 years ago to punish them by sending them to a land of sunshine and sand. What a punishment indeed. So I have made him, uh, I, I put him into a bowler hat to make him look like a, an Australian pioneer having been sent out as a, as a naughty person <laughs> to be punished in the sunshine and the sand. <laughs> And uh, now he says, make the, the note $25, and he wants a colour palette of PMS 376 green and PMS 432 grey. He's a perfectionist, and he loves Nel loves Helvetica Noi, which is the uh, type family. So I hope this is similar to Helvetica. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Um, <laughs> and his current project is illustrating gospel-centred Bible talks for five to six-year-olds. Um, eight to ten on large A2 drawings per talk, which is, sounds like quite a lot of hard work, uh, but you obviously enjoy it. So what can I say? I'm putting in some little kangaroos in the background, and I'm doing this in uh, in a kind of a monochrome, monotone kind of thing, and that's the PMS 432 <laughs> grey, and the green is in the background, sort of doing the whole thing. Well, I hope you like that, Marty. And <laughs> being a bit of a perfectionist, <laughs> you know I'm not. <laughs> and uh, and that brings us to the end of this video. I'm going to be doing another video which will uh, conclude all the other people who have sent in. And we're completely sold out. So thank you, for everyone, for joining in on this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and have a look at another one of my videos or try the mystery drawing. Make sure you're subscribed for new drawings every Monday and Friday. Check out my website, shewainer.com. And why not get my new book, Everyone Can Draw. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.